What's going on, everyone? This is Richard from Nothing But Nostalgia. Back at it again with another one. And, of course, we're continuing where we left off. And, of course, I've got to change the fucking disc once again. <laughs> You'd figure it would stay, but I guess not, so. Let's see, so we'll go ahead and do... Oop. So, disc number two. Press start. Cool. So, if you guys don't remember... Um, where we left off, we've uh, so we figured out the three card keys, and we were tricked to activate and pretty much launch Metal Gear. Did it save? I don't remember if it saved or not. Cause then after that, that's when Liquid popped up. Colonel, what's new with Naomi? She's being interrogated, Snake. Leave her to me. We just worry about stopping Metal Gear. We. See Snake, consider you call his friend. Da, 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 da. Huh. Oh, I don't mean to. You did it! That's the last one! Hurry to the control room! Oh, okay. I thought I said it before that. So now. I guess we're just backtracking a little bit, which is no big deal. So. But yeah, I mean, I already did this in my last episode. I got the last one, but I guess it didn't save correctly. But I mean, I saved it right after I did it. And Liquid popped out. So I guess we can just watch the cutscene again just to kind of remember where we're at. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake. So I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the encounter, thanks to Fox Dot. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Damn. Huh? You didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole. The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake! That's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Who Snake, else? you've been talking to me, dear brother. Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. 
Damn. Yeah. Damn, this one's pretty easy. I wish I could skip this part again, but I'm just gonna play it out just so you guys can, you know, kind of get like I guess a little bit of a reminder. <laughs> just called Otacon. Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. Cool. So now we just kind of sit back, just keep the gas mask on. I tried to blow it up last time on the last uh, last episode with like a rocket launcher, but it didn't really work out too well. So I just called Otacon and he fixed it for me. See, there it goes again. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. See? Easy. Oh, there's a ration right there. Glad to use that. Oops. And then, um, this is basically where we left off in the last episode. I wonder why I didn't save. Did you see liquid? Uh-oh. Liquid! Snake! Did you like my sunglasses? You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a pawn snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. Fox day. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox die. Fox die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be, but that woman is the only one who really knows. Damn, so this anyway, whole time he's just being played. To be unnecessary. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Dye, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. Hmm. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive gene. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's <laughs> right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? Hmm. It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! <laughs> you should understand me, brother. 
You killed our father with your own hands. Big boss. You stole my chance for revenge. Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him. I will destroy him. You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you. Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. Yeah. Snake, your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon. Consider it an honor, a oh, gift shit. from your brother. Now I'll show you the power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. It's moving. How do I stop it? This is it, boys. Me versus Metal Gear. Stinger missiles full? Oh no, Metal Gear Rex. Oh shit. I don't know what to do. Oh damn. It's definitely been such a long time since I played this. I just kind of forgot how to beat this. I think. I want to say just use a stinger. Let's try it. Oh shit! Whoa. Okay, it's not what I was expecting. Uh, let me call Otacon, see if they have any advice. Oh, not fucking Marrow, god damn it. I hit it again. Actually, I wonder where's Marrow? Snake, Rex's armor is impregnable. You can't do any damage with the weapons you've got. Rex uses the latest advances in compound armor. The only way you can pierce it is with a high-performance heat round. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes? That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors, do you see that round plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah, that thing that looks like a shield. That's a radome. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So he'll be blinded? Yeah, try to hit that ray dome with a stinger missile. So that will stop it? No. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the radome. That yeah, force him to open, him to open it up, up and you just shoot the missiles right. in there. If you can shoot a stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control system. You intentionally designed it with a weak point? It's not a weak point. I like to think of it as a character flaw. People just aren't complete without some type of character flaw, don't you think? <laughs> I guess so. What a nerd. I owe you one, Otacon. Whew. Alright. Oh, shit. I'm already getting demolished. Holy cow. Where is that stupid thing? Oh, I'm about to get. Oh! Oh, yeah, this is not a good little toy. Because I'm just gonna keep running. How do I. I don't even know what to do. Oh, I know there's some rations over here. I saw it, so I'm just gonna keep running. Oh my 
god. What if I do a chat grenade? Let's see what this does. For a little bit, just again, I wonder if it blindsides him a little bit. There we go. So that's one. Oh, shit. Just gonna keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh my god, this guy's so fucking big. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and throw another chaff grenade. Same thing. Oh, that's a stun grenade. Chaff grenade. Uh. Stinger. There we go. Oh shit! Keep hitting the wrong button. Run, 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 run. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, fuck! Nope. I don't even know how to get away from these fucking missiles. Oh, that's how you get away. You just gotta run the opposite way. Let's see. Can I shoot it from here? Oh, fucking. Oh, the ray. Running. Oh no, that didn't work. Uh, well, it looks like you guys are in for another death fest. That's great. Okay. Now that I know, let's bring out the stinger missile. Oh, he's not even active yet. Wow, I don't know how the hell to get rid of like to get away from this. They just keep following me. There's gotta be a way. I wonder if they're heat signals. I wonder. Let's see, this was a radar screen. There's gotta be something I can do. I mean, I'm not really too sure if the chap grenades are even working. Did I even throw one? I did. Oh, it does work. I guess they don't track you. Oh, okay, okay. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Cool. Cool, so let's go ahead and throw another chaff grenade. Oh yeah, see it went towards the chaff grenade. Okay. So now let's go ahead and bring out the stinger. Where is it at? Last is full. Uh oh. Okay, chuck grenade, chuck grenade, chuck grenade. God damn it. See, this stuff is really confusing. So yeah, I think I thought it went. I thought it got distracted with the chap grenade, but I guess it doesn't. Unless it has like a lock on you. Um, oh, chap grenade again. Horse. Horse. I got 
Stinger. Yeah, let's bring out another chaff grenade. Just letting you guys know I'm fucking sweating bullets right now. This shit is hard. <laughs> oh! Not yet, not yet. Let's see, can I get another one? Ah. One more, one more. Oh! I barely did it. I barely did it. Ooh, that was hard. So now the cockpit should open up. Oh. Hurry! Get away! Great Fox, the name from long ago. It sounds better than Deep Throat. So it is you. You're the terrible snake. <laughs> aged well. I'll send you back to hell! Great is an exoskeleton, though. There it goes. Fox, why? What do you want from me? I am a prisoner of death. Only you can free me. Fox, stay out of this. What about Naomi? She's hell-bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi? You're the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. Oh. I was young then, and couldn't bring myself to kill her too. I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood, to soothe my guilty conscience. Even now she thinks of me as her brother. But, from the outside, we might have seemed like a happy brother and sister. But every time I looked at her, I saw her parents' eyes staring back at me. Tell her, uh. me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. There you are! We're just about out of time. Here's a final present from Deep Road. I'll stop it from moving! But! I wonder what that was. Oh! I think that's the same exoskeleton I was. Oh! In the Middle East, we don't hunt foxes, we hunt jackals. Instead of fox sounds, we use royal harriers. Fox. How strong is that exoskeleton of yours? Snake, are you just going to sit by and watch him die? A cornered fox is more dangerous than a jackal. He destroyed the radar. Oh shit. What was I saying? That's the same uh, exoskeleton as the that Raiden uses in Metal Gear Solid 4. Do it, Snake. I can't do it. I no, I can't do it. Battle. Neither truly alive. No, I keep. I can't do it. I keep and hitting the button. Shadow in the world. No good. I, I can't do it. But soon. No, soon I can't do it. it will it's no good. I can't I can do, do it. it. Oh.
fighting was the only thing, the only thing I was good at. But at least I always fought for what I believed in. Snake, farewell. Shit, the final blow. Fox! Foolish man. He prayed for death, and it found him. You see, you can't protect anyone, not even yourself. Die! Wow. Again, I hate these fucking things. Can't even get away from them. Now I don't even have any more rations. I'm done. Ah. So what do I do to get rid of these missiles? I have to start all the way from the fucking beginning? No way. Oh fuck. Uh, let me see this thing here. They still chased after me. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw out another stinger or another chaff grenade. God, how annoying. Stun grenades. I don't think stun grenades are gonna do anything, but I can try them. There's a reason why they're here, usually. See what these do. Oh, do nothing. No, guys, I think I'm gonna cut it right here just so you guys don't have to watch watch this because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die again. I'll cut back in when, uh, oh shit, I'll cut back in when after that, uh, Sorry, I'm so focused on this thing right now. It's just so crazy. I'll cut back in when Fox dies again, alright? Hold up. Alright, guys. I'm back. Jesus fucking Christ. What a crazy ass boss battle. This shit is so hard. You have to be so quick. Oh! So I gotta get him right when he kind of kneels down a little bit. Shoot his machine guns at me. And do this. Ooh, oh my god. I wanna see what Otacon has anything to say. This part I've been having a lot of trouble on. I saw it in President Baker's top secret files. Rex has a free electron laser mounted on its belly. It's a laser weapon that discharges a laser beam into an electron beam that's been accelerated using giant magnets. It can generate an incredible amount of energy. Pretty close to 100 megawatts. That's 10 times greater than any other laser out there. Okay, what does that do? If Rex steps on you, it'll be all over. Be very careful when he gets close. Well, I guess I'm just kind of on my own at this point. Woo! Oh, there we go. Perfect. Scoot back a little bit. Oh, no! You got me. Ooh, definitely tough. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This shit is so hard. Ah, I'm too far away from, from Rex. 
Too far again. He's oh. gotta be quick. Whew. Oh no. Ah, oh, fuck, he lasered me. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Almost there. Come on. Come on, come on. I'm so over this fucking boss battle. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've fucking done this thing at least like four times. <laughs> I had to cut. Oh, I fucking did it! I had to cut this four times. One of the most aggravating and annoying boss battles I've done in a long time. I don't even know or remember how I did it the first time. Seriously, what the fuck? So we shot him down. Still not dead. Sleeping like as usual. A snake. Liquid. You're still alive. That's I what won't I'm saying. Die. As long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I'm done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things, oh, are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatred will arise. Then, We'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie. So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing. That's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? That was... <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. There's a killer... He's just trying to get inside his head. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model Big was the boss. man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. 
So they created us from his cells, with a combination of 20th century analog cloning and the super baby method. Super baby method? They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells, and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Damn. Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But they're different. They're digital. With the completion of the Human Genome Project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. <laughs> That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing are our brothers, with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers? That's right. They are our brothers, created artificially through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices? Human experiments! 1991. The Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First, they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-serin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes, they too are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We are on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I, as do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. 
in order to break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, I will kill you. Look behind you! Meryl! Meryl. Finally. Is she alive? I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No! We have no past, no future, and even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? I'm so tired of this guy too. Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. No, you Ow. fucking won't. I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I mean... I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. I don't know how after I feel about that, that now. No turning back. What? What are you doing? Uh oh. What? Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. What? Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. President ordered this? The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. 
Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Farewell. Yikes. We're in the Secretary of Defense. <laughs> There's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. Only your death can satisfy me. Only your death can return to me what is rightly mine. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? It will be the time limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. Three minutes? If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. If you cross this line, you fall. At this height, it will kill even you. We've wasted 30 seconds already, just staring at them. Have at you, snake. Okay, so I'm gonna end it here. Let me see what she Are says. You snake? Okay. Yeah, so just going over right over here. Cool. Don't give up. Awesome, guys. Well, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, also, catch me on twitch.tv forward slash nothing but nostalgia. I'm doing some modern uh, video gaming on there, just live streaming some, um, you know, just some fun games in general. But catch me on there, of course. Uh, wherever you guys are listening, I appreciate you. Follow me and listen on anchor.fm forward slash nothing but nostalgia. Until next time, guys. Peace.